Hello Young Justice fans, Dark Superboy here with another video on our beloved Super Zero series. Uh, first things off, I've got to apologise for the way I'm sounding. Um, I'm kind of fighting keeping my voice over the last couple of days, haven't feel, been feeling all that good. So apologies about the sound quality. Um, but I'm going to persevere just for you. So today we are going to be discussing the new information that has just been released about the synopsis of the next three episodes of Young Justice Outsiders and some hints and clues that are hidden within. Let's begin. Okay, so first things first, let's uh, do a quick readout of the synopsis for the next three episodes. Um, so the first episode out is Influence. The team reassembles whilst Justice League faces a new threat in space. Leverage, a new Gamma squad, sets out on his first mission. And Illusions of Control, the team gives thanks for what they have and might lose. Uh, first things off the bat with Influence is that the last section of the Justice League we are facing a new threat in space. This is obviously going to be when they make, make contact with Big Barda because of the scenes in promo. It's in space. They've got the uh, Justice League uh, Superman heat beaming. Uh, Granny Goodness and Assad, and since Gran Granny Goodness has already been found out as to be on bad guy guy's team because of the um, good VR goggles, she's probably not going to have to uh, keep up the facade of her Earth alter ego, so she's thrown it out of the way, and that's where we get that part from. Uh, Leverage, a new Gamma Squad, sets out on its first mission. Uh, this is most likely going to be the Reach episode that I've already mentioned in a previous video. And because we've seen ga uh, squad members such as Wonder Girl and Static, um, I'm guessing they're the Gamma Squad, but the new members are most likely going to be the Outsiders, so they might combine the Outsiders and squads together, finally to start working together. But because the Outsiders are still rookies, they go on the lower tier squad level, so therefore Gamma. And then finally, the Illusions of Control. Clearly, the thanks for what they have is a reference to Thanksgiving Day, which gives us that day will be on the 26th. And that's probably going to be slightly like the Season 1 episode where they had all those downtime uh, sections. So it could be split out uh, one episode amongst all what the teams are doing. So you could have... Um, Artemis and Roy with Halo and Terra and Leanne having Thanksgiving in their house. And then you can go over to Miss Martian and Connor having uh, Thanksgiving at their house, etc. And then you just split up into multiple sections. Um, and those are my uh, theories on what's going on in those three episodes. But a key point we are missing here is that Thanksgiving will be on the 26th of November. Uh, and we know the last episode that aired was set on the 1st of November. And there's a key date between those two times. And that is going to be Wally West's birthday, which was on November 11th. So this is a key point of potential spit by a scene of Artemis going to his grave, wishing him a happy birthday. Um... And so forth. So there's a good chance of a Spitfire scene coming up in the next three episodes. We are short recently in the first half. We didn't really see anything at all. But hopefully we're going to see something there. Um, and that's about it. That's about as much as my voice can take. Uh, but please uh, like, comment and subscribe. I'd like to hear your thoughts on the subject. I've been Dark Superboy. This has been a video on Young Justice. Uh, thank you for watching. And as always, let hope burn bright. Goodbye. <laughs>